Hello friends, in this video we are going to discover the top 10 places to visit in San Francisco. Set along the ocean, with rolling hills and the iconic Golden Gate Bridge, San Francisco is one of the most beautiful cities in the United States and the jewel of Northern California. The city is full of history, great neighborhoods, parks, beaches, museums, and a whole host of entertainment options and things to do. Some of the most famous attractions are Alcatraz Island and Fisherman's Wharf, but the sightseeing possibilities here are extensive. San Francisco's Chinatown is the largest of its kind in North America and definitely worth visiting. For an interesting experience, hop on one of the historic cable cars and tour the city. Kindly make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon before we start this video about the 10 best places to visit in San Francisco. Now let's dig deeper into each of the top 10 places to visit in San Francisco. Number 10 on the list of places to visit in San Francisco is San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. The San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, SMOMA, is one of the city's top museums, with 170,000 square feet of exhibition space spread across 10 floors. The museum focuses on 20th century art, in all forms, and the innovative and interesting exhibits are constantly changing. The permanent collection consists of 33,000 pieces, and one of the more interesting collections are contained within the Fisher Collection. The museum is housed in a modern, architecturally stunning building that was extensively renovated and expanded in 2016. The light and airy building is a pleasure to wander about. Number 9 on the list of places to visit in San Francisco is California Academy of Sciences. The California Academy of Sciences, in Golden Gate Park, is an architectural marvel as well as a multifaceted museum. This state-of-the-art green building with a sustainable design has a 2.5-acre living roof, covered with native plants and even rolling hills to match the natural surroundings. The roof also has solar panels to generate electricity, and the soil acts as natural insulation. The walls are largely made of glass allowing for natural light. Inside is an incredible natural history museum, planetarium, aquarium, rainforest, and more. The Steinhardt Aquarium includes some 38,000 live specimens and a 25 feet deep coral reef. The Osher Rainforest is four stories high and houses animals and amphibians in a fantastic layout. Number 8 on the list of places to visit in San Francisco is Palace of Fine Arts. The Palace of Fine Arts in San Francisco is the last remaining structure from the 1915 Panama Pacific Exposition. Listed on the National Register of Historic Places, this classical-looking building is beautifully situated on a lagoon that reflects the mirror image on the surface of the calm water, while ducks and geese drift by. The palace has been restored, along with the grounds, and today hosts art exhibitions and performances. The Palace of Fine Arts Theater seats approximately 1,000 patrons. Number 7 on the list of places to visit in San Francisco is Legion of Honor. An impressive neoclassical Beaux-Arts building in an amazing setting, the California Palace of the Legion of Honor is San Francisco's most exquisite museum. The Legion of Honor was the gift of the socialite, philanthropist, and patron of the arts Alma de Bretteville Spreckles. Because of her love for all things Parisian, the museum was designed as a replica of the Palais de la Legion d'Honneur in Paris. The Legion of Honor Museum has a superb collection of European decorative arts, sculpture, and paintings, along with antiquities from the Mediterranean and Near East. Admission to this museum also gives you same-day admission to the De Young Museum. Number 6 on the list of places to visit in San Francisco is Chinatown. You may have been to Chinatown in other cities, but San Francisco's Chinatown is a whole other realm. It is both the largest Chinatown outside of Asia and the oldest of its kind in North America. Almost completely destroyed in the 1906 earthquake, Chinatown was rebuilt entirely in the Chinese style and was soon even more attractive than before the disaster. Now with its temples, theaters, workshops, small businesses, stores, antique and souvenir shops, tea houses, and traditional pharmacies, visiting Chinatown has become one of the top things to do in San Francisco. Number 5 on the list of places to visit in San Francisco is Golden Gate Park. Golden Gate Park, home to gardens and museums, is a fabulous green space in the heart of San Francisco, often considered the lungs of the city. Before development began in 1871, this was an area of arid dunes. Today, the park has a network of walking trails and cycling paths, 
more than 5,000 different kinds of plants and dozens of species of trees, several lakes, bridal paths, and a buffalo paddock. The main attractions include the De Young Museum, the California Academy of Sciences Museum with Steinhardt Aquarium, the Japanese Tea Garden, and the San Francisco Botanical Garden. Number 4 on the list of places to visit in San Francisco is Ride the Cable Cars. Cable cars were introduced in 1873 to help locals contend with the many hills the city is built on. Today, the few remaining cable cars offer tourists a great way to explore the city in historic fashion. Since 1964, these tramlike vehicles have had the unique distinction of being the only public transport system to be declared a historic monument. The Powell-Mason and Powell-Hyde are the most scenic routes. The cable cars will also get you to the major tourist attractions such as Fisherman's Wharf, Girardelli Square, the Ferry Building, Knob Hill, and Lombard Street. Tickets can be purchased on board the cable car, or, if you are planning on more than a couple of rides or are going to be sightseeing for a few days, consider buying a pass. Number 3 on the list of places to visit in San Francisco is Fisherman's Wharf. Fisherman's Wharf is one of San Francisco's most popular tourist areas. If this is your first visit to the city and you only have a day or two to see the sights, Fisherman's Wharf is one of the best places to visit. This old section, once the Little Italy of San Francisco, is known for its shops, restaurants, and beautiful setting along the waterfront. The views from Pier 39 back towards the city are exceptional. It's a fun place to stroll around and get a taste for the city. From here, you can also take a sightseeing cruise for spectacular views of the city, or organize a fishing charter. The docks by Pier 39 are some of the best areas in the city to see sea lions. Some of the main attractions in the area are Madame Tussauds Wax Museum, Musée Mechanic, Ripley's Believe It or Not, and Girardelli Square. Restored 19th and 20th century ships line the waterfront at the Hyde Street Pier, which is now the San Francisco Maritime National Historic Park. Number 2 on the list of places to visit in San Francisco is Alcatraz Island. The historic and notorious Alcatraz Penitentiary, located on Alcatraz Island in San Francisco Bay, is one of America's most infamous prisons. It operated for almost 30 years, closing in 1963 and reopening as a tourist attraction in 1973. Some of America's most well-known criminals were inmates here, including Al Capone and the Birdman, who would later form the basis for the fictional movie The Birdman of Alcatraz. You can take a ferry over to the island and tour the site while listening to an exceptional audio recording that offers a glimpse into life in the prison, rather than just a historical list of the facts. The narration is even voiced by former inmates and guards of Alcatraz. Number one on the list of places to visit in San Francisco is Golden Gate Bridge. The Golden Gate Bridge is a California icon gracing San Francisco Bay. It is the most photographed site in the city, with the orange structure backed by blue water, or in many cases, peeking through low-lying cloud. At night, the floodlit structure is equally striking. Connecting San Francisco with Marin County and other districts further north, the Golden Gate Bridge was, at one time, designated the greatest man-made site in the United States by the U.S. Travel Service. Opened on May 28, 1937, the bridge took four years to build and at the time of its completion, was the longest suspension bridge in the world, measuring approximately two miles in length. If you want to drive over the Golden Gate Bridge, the road is U.S. Highway 101, or SR1, and walkways on either side of the bridge are open to pedestrians and cyclists. The walk begins at the start of the bridge, accessible from the Presidio shuttle, and ends with a viewpoint in Marin County. So, which is your favorite places among the top 10 places to visit in San Francisco? Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this. Post your favorite places among the top 10 places to visit in San Francisco in the comments below. I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too.